Hi, and welcome back to our Ask the Agronomist video series. I am Phil Long, Precision Agronomy Advisor with Latham High Tech Seeds. We're back out in the plots today, out in the field, looking at some emerged soybeans. Want to talk a little bit about stand. The stand that's coming out of the ground, we've had all different kind of conditions throughout Latham country this spring. A lot of tough conditions, whether it's soil conditions or weather conditions, just a lot of things going on. So the first thing you want to make sure you do is take your tape measure with you when you're going out looking at your fields. Make sure you get a stand count, especially before you make any rash judgments. Always have that tape measure with you to get a good stand count. So I did that. Um, it's a shortened version here. The version I like to use in a lot of cases on soybeans, 21 inches for a 30 inch row. We just count one row. If it was 15s, we count two. Uh, but in this case, I actually have 100, I have a 14, so I multiply that times 10,000 since this is one ten thousandth of an acre. Um, I actually have one more little bean with the hypocotyl just pushing through the surface there, so that'd make 15 or 150,000. So this stand is, is excellent. It's not like that everywhere in these plots. There's a lot of, as you can see, residue challenges, especially in the no-till areas, uh, and, and a lot of tough, challenging soil conditions as well. Uh, for depth of uh, compaction and things like that, challenge the depth and so forth this spring. So just a lot of different situations going on uh, this year in different parts of Latham country. So want to relate that back to a little bit of uh, yield potential and uh, what you can expect to see for the different areas that we're in. Those that maybe haven't gotten plants in the ground yet, seeds in the ground, especially on the soybean side, uh, it's not a big concern. You can still see Honestly, at the end of May, at least here in Iowa or so, it, things change as you move around, but you can still see 96, 97, 98% yield potential, even planting in late May. Uh, so, and that's in 30 inch rows. My recommendation, if you have the option, would be to definitely narrow things up. Uh, row closure, uh, especially in 30 inch rows, is gonna be about 70, 75 days. If you're in 15s, it's gonna knock about 25 days off that. So the more you narrow your rows up, the faster you can get canopy closure, which is good for the plants. Getting that canopy closed by reproduction really is what the beans care about. So remember that if you're late planting, if you can push pops, narrow the rows up some, that's gonna help you out too. So uh, also lower stands, if there's issues with residue and stuff, remember you really need to evaluate that uh, depending on your row spacing and everything. But in a lot of cases, even a stand down to 60, 70,000 can still see a 95% yield potential. That's hard to believe, but I've seen it in many cases where some of those fields can go well over 60, 70 bushels. So um, this, this has been a tough, challenging spring, but especially on the soybean sides, don't, don't give up hope yet. Make sure you're out there doing stand counts and taking a look at what's going on. This is a good time to do it, uh, maybe a little bit later. Here by the end of this week, they're going to be pushing out probably their first uh, leaves or the unifoliate leaves, and then we'll have an even better judgment on what all has come out. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at 1-877-GO-LATHAM or visit us on our website at lathamseeds.com.